Mtazamaji kwingine kwa muungano wa azimio la umoja sasa linashutumu serikali kwa ushuru wa juu na kusema kuwa hatua hiyo itafanya maisha kuwa magumu hata zaidi kwa Kenya kwani harama ya maisha itakuwa juu. Akizungumza na wanahabari leo hii kinara wa chama cha Wiper Kalonzo Mosioka amesema kuwa mapendekezo yaliyowasilishwa na serikali ya Kenya kwanza kwenye sera ya bajeti ya mwaka 2024 yana makosa mengi na analenga kumkandamiza mwananchi hata zaidi. Vile vile akigusia mswada ujenzi wa nyumba za bei nafuu upande wa upinzani mwashauri maseneta kuipinga mswada huo huku akishikilia msimamo kuwa pendekezo hilo si la manufaa kwa mkenya. We must forewarn Kenyans that as we predicted the budget policy statement is confirming the tax burden um, is, which it set out to increase drastically. One, after going through the Kenya Kwanzaa's budget policy statement, our position is that the economic proposals, policies, and strategies remain flawed and unachievable. As we have always said, this regime is completely irredeemable. Two, if the BPS is anything to go by, Kenyans must be ready to tighten their belts because KK regime is coming after them in a second wave of taxes. Number three, to the ordinary Kenyans, the Mama Boga, Boda Boda Riders, and the people of Mjengo, um, this regime is coming again with a double taxation plan with increased taxes of approximately 27,000 shillings per every adult Kenyan. Number four, it's proposing advanced tasks on goods and services supplied to government, VAT, on educational services, which means an increase in school fees and tax on agricultural produce. Fifthly, as a coalition, there are things we are deeply passionate and unrelenting about. To us, the people of Kenya, must come first. We believe that Kenyans have been hurting for a prolonged period of time. This, the budget uh, policy statement is meant to prolong and worsen the suffering by Kenyans.